If I were running a 10, 20, 30K a month and I wanted to get to 100K per month as fast as possible, here is exactly everything I would do step by step. If you don't know me, my name is Daniel Fazio. I'm the co founder of Client Ascension and List Kit. We currently make about $1 million per month in revenue. And what we're going to cover in this video is why operating at scale is easier than being small, mapping out the client acquisition processes, and then building an offer ecosystem. If you don't know what Client Ascension is, over a thousand people scaled our company. List Kit is a SaaS company. We make a substantial amount amount of revenue right now, all following exactly what I'm going to show you right now. So if you want to learn how to make a lot more money expeditiously faster than you are currently doing right now, pay attention because I want to drop some sauce. So it's easier to run an acquisition system at scale than it is to be small. So we're going to walk through this Google sheet right here. And what this is, is it's for a setup offer cash flow modeling. And I'm going to walk you through what exactly everything means here. So if you're watching on YouTube, put your thing in full screen right now so you can actually see this, the numbers I'm going through. So how does this funnel work? This funnel works via you sell a client a one-time setup, like a one-time setup fee, one-time payment, and then you later sell them your recurring retainer offer. Why would you want to do this? Because it is roughly three to 10 times easier to sell somebody a one-time payment than to get somebody on a recurring offer. Your cost to acquire a customer to get someone for a one-time payment, I shit you not, might literally be like one-third to one-tenth what you're paying to get a retainer client because people just don't like having to pay recurring payments. It's super annoying, way easier to get someone a setup offer. So here's what we're going to walk through. The bright green means it's an input, right? So let's say we have a $2,500 setup offer and then our normal retainer is $3,000 per month. That's what we're trying to upsell the setup people onto. And then we have a 20% upsell rate. So of the people who buy a setup offer, 20% of them will eventually become a retainer client. And then it takes them, we're going to assume it's going to take them eight weeks. So you sign a setup offer client and then eight weeks later, 20% of them will go onto the retainer. And then we're assuming we're using ads here. So cost per qualified call is $300. The show up rate on the calls is 60%, which gives us a $500 cost per live call. And then we're going to assume our live call close rate is 30%, which would mean that our cost per acquisition on a $2,500 setup is $1,667. Let's assume we have $2,000 of daily ad spend, which means we're going to have four live calls per day, live qualified calls that show up per day. And then closes per week is 8.4. So $2,000 per day in ads will get you 8.4 people onto the setup offer per week, which means that you will make $21,000 in revenue of setups per week, right? We're going to assume that the fulfillment cost for you to actually execute the setup offer is $500, which means that the profit per setup is $333 and your profit per week is $2,800. So you're probably sitting here and be like, Daniel, that sucks. And yes, you're correct. If that's what your strategy was, if that was the extent of your strategy just to get setups, then yes, this would suck. And I would not recommend you do this. So what we're going to also put in is the profit margin on the retainer offer. So this $3,000, it costs you $900 per month to fulfill it, right? And then this is a week by week modeled out cash flow analysis of what exactly will happen if 20% of the setups close over the course of eight weeks. Now, our daily ad spend is 2000 So let me do this real quick because this is what a lot of people do when you're at like 30K a month. You think it's okay to spend like $100 a day on ads. You think this is okay to do. And this is why your business is failing, right? So let's walk through this. You could go an entire year at $200 per day. We're gonna go all the way down MRR. We're gonna go all the way down and you will be at 11K a month if you spend $100 a day because you think that that's enough money to spend on ads. What will happen is your total one year profit will be 50 grand. Brand. That's poverty. It's a complete waste of time. You see what I mean? You're trying to scale a business and you're sitting here spending a hundred dollars a day. It doesn't make any sense, right? Let's bump this up to $1,000 per day in ad spend. Cool. Now something is actually happening because over the course of three months, you're at 21 K in one total profit, then 93. And then for the year, 509,000 profit on 1.1 million in revenue. Now something is actually happening. You see what I mean? Like you get over to the second month, it's 11, 2K, and then you get all the way down to the end of the year, it's 509K. You cannot operate on these little baby numbers. The reason why your business isn't scaling is because you're operating on extremely short time frames and you have not modeled this out. Download this. You can download this sheet at the link in the description so that you can play with it yourself. This is super important. All right, so let's keep going.
one. We're going to talk about client acquisition processes. So number one, ads. You need to be running ads when you reach 30K a month. You have more capital than you have time, right? So before when you below, the way you got to 30K a month was by executing all of your time. But now you have money and you need to deploy all of your money, right? And therefore you need to use the capital like you used to use your time. Use all of it, right? Still take your profits, but live below your means so you can invest into growing the profit more, right? So the capital must be deployed so that it can work. This is super simple to think about this, right? So let's simulate this out. This is a cost to acquire a customer versus lifetime gross profit per customer. So let's say you're going to throw in $10,000 per month of ad spend. We're say $300 cost per qualified call. You can get a CAC of $1,000. Let's say you cost $3,000 a month, 70% profit margin. Your churn, 17%. You'd have a 12.4x, 10,000 in, 113,000 profit out over the course of six months. That's literally how that works. You see what I mean? You can play with this sheet as well. If you go to the link in the description, you could download this in addition to this sheet. You can get both of those at the link in the description. So this is really important right here. If you can invest into ads and have a 7x return over the course of 12 months of revenue realization at a 50% profit margin, that's a 3.5x return on capital, which means a 250% return, right? Let's compare this to the S&P 500 at 8% annualized return and Bitcoin at 33% annualized return. It is more efficient to invest in your own business than it is to invest into other assets. It just is, right? It is more capital efficient to invest in yourself. Okay, YouTube. You guys got to start posting on YouTube. So videos like this, that like I'm making right now, just simple guides. Ideally, you make how-to videos. If you just make how-to, it normally works way better. So recently posted, and I put this message in Client Ascension so I could get these people to actually make YouTube videos. One of my past videos, how to use AI for B2B content creation. It was like on day one, it had 900 views and 120 people downloaded the lead magnet, right? I was giving them AI prompts. And even in this video, there's a download, like give you the download to the Google Sheets, right? Why? Because I'm using it as a lead magnet. So I can get your email and I can send you emails, all right? So make guide YouTube videos and throw a lead magnet in all of them. You will collect five to 15% of your viewers' emails and phone numbers. Good videos passively rank on search terms and get views and traffic for free forever, which means you keep getting more leads continuously. It's actually insane. Insanely powerful platform. You don't even need to edit your videos if it's B2B. I edit my videos now. I have them edited and use thumbnails, but for a long time I did it and it still worked. It's just completely unnecessary. All right, cool. Email list. Ads right? Because you're running your ad spend now and you have your YouTube, both go to the email list, right? So both your ad dollars and your YouTube traffic feed to your email list. You send emails five times per week, Monday through Friday. At our software company, list, can we actually send two to three emails per day? And your email list is, it can easily make up 30% of the total amount of money that you make. You are financially irresponsible if you're not actively running an email list. You, you got to be running one. All right, cool. So building an offer ecosystem. This is an unlock to get past like primarily 30 to 100K a month. Like this is how you get to a million a month, right? It's building an offer ecosystem. So you don't reach a million a month by selling one offer. You need tons of different stuff to sell people. So infinite cross sells, upsells, downsells, packages, bundles, et cetera. You want to be vertically scaling. So what does vertical scaling mean? Imagine this is one market, right? And then you have people like say it's B2B and there's people in that market, like selling, selling, whatever the fuck. I don't know. Say it's like marketing agencies. There's a lot of marketing agencies at 1K a month. There's a lot of them at 30K a month, 100K a month, 250, 500, a million a month. And e But each one has a different offer that's relevant to them. So like these guys, guys, it might make sense for these guys to buy like a book or a course or like a live workshop. And then these guys over here, it might make sense to buy coaching. And these guys up here might make sense to buy done for you. But then these guys up here might want like two done for you services. This guy up here might need like three or four done for you services, but they also might still be interested in books or like live workshops or like in-person consulting or maybe a coaching program. You see what I mean? So this is what your business needs to look like. Do it yourself products, done with you products and done for you products. And you need to have shit tons of different products because there's shit tons of different people who are interested in shit tons of different things. All of these offers are relevant to different segments of the market, of people who are in different life cycles of their agency. Like it doesn't have to be agencies. It can be anything. They're all in different life cycles though, right? So do it yourself products, courses, books, eBooks, other digital products, templates, swipe files, software. Done with you. It could be access level one, access level two, group coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching, hybrid offers. Hybrid offers is when you put like a done for you element on top of the coaching or in front of it. Uh, done for you. It could be service one, service one and two service one, two, and three, rev shares, equity vesting. You see what I mean? You need to have all different kinds of stuff that you sell to all different kinds of people at different life cycles in the market. That's how you unlock shit tons more revenue. So you can download these assets in the description in this sheet. If you go to the link in the description, you can download it. The set up offer financial modeling sheet right here. And this one, the CAC LTV. If you go, you click the first link in the description and then you can download this. All right, I hope you got some value. If you did, please subscribe, like, leave a comment. I love you. Peace.